Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today's video is a vlog style video again, um, but it's kind of on the run. We're actually on the road right now. Um, I am meeting a friend at her house for some coffee and chats at like 10 o'clock. It's like 9.15, so we got 45 minutes. Anyhow, um, I made some sourdough cinnamon rolls yesterday, so I'm taking them over to her place. We're gonna have some fun. But before I do that, I'm actually headed to meet a lady um, who I'm buying some jars from on Facebook. So I like to do canning. If you're new to my channel, I love, or I'm getting into canning. I'm loving it so far. Um, and if you've been around, you know that because you've seen the past couple videos where I've done different things, I've been trying different things, but I'm always on the lookout for jars on Facebook Marketplace. So a little um, tip for you guys. Um, if you are looking for canning jars, definitely like search Facebook almost every week. Um, so yeah, I'm getting probably, I'm trying to think how many, probably eight dozen or so. Um, I'm getting some wide mouth ones, wide mouth quarts, regular quarts, and then she also had some pint jars and jelly jars, which is what I want because it's almost strawberry season, or it is strawberry season, here in Central PA. So I want to do jam and I want jelly jars to do it in. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're up to. The rest of today, I'm not exactly sure what it holds. I do have a list that I want to complete if possible, um, but I haven't even looked at it yet this morning. So I figured I would just bring you guys along today. It's kind of going to be a here, there, and everywhere kind of day. I stopped and got myself a blackberry cold brew. So we're doing good in the coffee department, even though I'm meeting my friend for coffee in 45 minutes. <laughs> um, but that's okay. You know, you can never have too much. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and I will catch up with you in a little bit. Hey you guys, so I am back home and as you can tell, I had a very talkative, long conversation with my friend because my voice is shot. So this is not gonna work well for filming, but I think I'm still gonna vlog. I'm gonna go show you guys the massive haul of jars I got off Facebook. Um, but I'm just gonna do voiceover for most of this video since my voice sounds terrible. So. Excuse that. Um, you might have heard earlier that I sounded a bit congested. Well, like I said, now it's worse. Um, but I had a lovely morning with my friend. I'm back home. Kai's down for his afternoon nap. And now it is time to like get to the grind and get some things done. So I'm going to bring you all along. I'm not going to be talking much. This is probably going to be one of the last times you guys see me talking because I sound like crazy. Um, but hopefully you guys can still enjoy the rest of the video, which is pretty much the whole video, I guess. Um, and I'll show you the jars I got and all those things. And then we'll get into my to-do list that I need to hopefully get accomplished the rest of today. So here is all the jars I got. She had them so nicely boxed up. But as you can see, it filled up a good amount of the back of my vehicle. And I cleared off the table, brought them inside, and decided to lay them all out so I could kind of get a visual for how many I have. And so I could show you guys. And the jars are so nice. I'm so excited to be able to can with these this summer. And the fact that I did not have to pay store price for them is an added bonus. So I got a bunch of pint jars from this lady as well as wide mouth quarts, regular quarts, not quite as many regular quarts because I have a good amount of those. And then I bought all the jelly jars she had to use for some strawberry jam that I want to do here in the near future. I wanted to take a minute to thank Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm working again with them again this month, and if you've been around for any length of time, you know I love working with them. Dossier is a luxury perfume company that produces affordable perfumes. Their perfumes start at $19, 
and they have quite a high set of standards that they hold themselves to. Their perfumes are produced from French ingredients and here on the website they have a whole page about the ingredients they use in their perfumes and what they do or do not accept as far as quality which is great to know that when you're buying perfume especially to put on your body or your skin you're buying something that is high quality they do not use colorant or uv filter in their perfumes as well as they are free of parabens and phthalates and this month i am trying their floral lavender scent which is such a nice soft floral scent this one starts at 29 dollars and you can see here on the page it has a little section that tells you all about the perfume, um, what kind of the tones are that make it up, um, the details of it, what perfume it was inspired by, and much more. And then if you scroll down, you can also see product reviews from other people who have tried this one. So you can know whether a lot of people liked it or didn't like it. I love reading through reviews when I am buying a product. And this lavender perfume was just a great addition for my summer wardrobe. They come in these adorable, nicely packaged little boxes with a little card that tells you all about it just in case you did not read about it on the website. I also love that they come packaged super classy and in this nice classy little bottle which looks so nice sitting on your dresser, let's just be honest. So I'm going to leave my coupon code as well as a link down below and if you need to stock up on some perfumes for you this summer, check out Dossier and try their floral lavender scent. So getting back to the video, I was about to do some things at home and Nelson called me and said he needed some supplies and was wondering if we'd be willing to pick them up. So I loaded the kids back in the car and we ran out to get supplies for him, which was a lot of fun. I love being able to help him out on the job. And then we ended up staying till he was done working. The kids loved it. They love playing wherever he's working. And I did my best to try to help with some cleanup because he always does that before he goes home. And so I figure if I go over that's something that I can do, I might not be up on the roof doing anything, but I can definitely pick up scraps and clean up. So we hung out with him for maybe an hour or two while he finished up his work for the day. We quick finished up at the job and then went home and I left the kids at home with Nelson while I ran back into town to run to the grocery store and pick up some honey. I wanted to make some nice warm tea for me and Kai and I was out of honey so I just ran to Wise and picked up some so that way we could have some warm tea before we go to bed to soothe our throat. My voice is definitely better but it's still not 100% which is a little tricky but I guess it is the way it is. So because of taking supplies out to Nelson, it kind of took up when I would normally prep for supper. So we ended up just getting pizza from a little local pizza shop and that was super fun for supper. And then it was bedtime routines and bath time for the kiddos. And the day was quickly, quickly coming to an end. While we got the kiddos ready for bed, I also had some cleanup to do. And so I filled my diffusers with filtered water. It's been really fun to use better water in my diffusers and they don't get so like scaly or whatever because of hard water. But I filled my diffusers and put some peppermint in them to help my throat and my congestion and all that kind of stuff. It's such a great 
um, oil to diffuse if you're congested or anything like that. I will link the one that I use down below just in case you are looking for a good quality essential oil. I love the way this one smells and it has a great smell that isn't too overpowering but you can feel it like working in your sinuses so i started our diffusers that way while i cleaned up i could kind of get a little bit of sinus relief before the kids went to bed After I had filled the diffusers, I made some warm tea before bed and I actually made extra so I had some for the next day. But I love the sleepy time tea that you can just get at the store. I think it comes in a blue box and I had some of that so I used that as well as making sure to use plenty of honey and then I actually squeezed in half a lemon as well and it was such a nice, soothing, warm, comforting drink to end the day with. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I loved sharing my day with you guys. It turned into quite the crazy busy day, but this is kind of how it goes and it was a lot of fun. I loved bringing you along. Don't forget to check out my links in the description box for Dossier and anything else that you might need. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye guys.